All right, in this video, I'm going to show how to add an animated GIF into the Microsoft Excel worksheet or workbook. Now, first off, this option, as far as I can see, is not available in Microsoft Excel using the insert and then picture option. If you're to do insert picture, the only thing that you can really add is a still image or a still GIF. So I do have an animated GIF already set up in my local hard drive. And if I select this option, select the file, all we get is just the picture. There is some kind of workaround that I have found in order to add an animated GIF to a Microsoft Excel worksheet. And using that, it will require that you have macros enabled and the file would need to be a macro enabled workbook. And I'm gonna show you how we can do that. I'm gonna go to insert under ActiveX controls. I'm going to select the more control option and I'm going to use the Microsoft web browser control. Many of you may be familiar with the web browser control. If not, I mean, feel free to review my web browser control video. I'm going to go on and add the web browser control. Now, there can be a couple of reasons why you may want to add an animated GIF to a workbook, maybe to show like a, an hourglass, some type of animated status bar. And I'm going to go on and show you how you can do that by after a click of a button or maybe after some kind of other command that a user can click which will execute this. So under the command button I'm going to go ahead and double click it and we're going to do sheet one dot web browser one dot navigate and what we're going to do is we're going to navigate it to the URL of where the file is located. This can be a web server or your local machine. In this case I have the file stored on my local machine. That's what I'm going to use. That's going to be c colon slash gifs and then the slash can.gif. And I'm going to go on and close out the Visual Basic environment. Going to expand this. That way, make sure the gif can fit. Take us out of design mode and hit that command button. We now have the animated gif on here. The only problem that you may see here is that you do have the scroll bar of the web browser control as well as the the border. Now I haven't experimented with the web browser control as far as the properties go for maybe disabling that border and the scroll bar, but I'm going to go back into design mode and maybe this is something that you can do some research on, but right click on the web browser control and go to properties and you'll see there are, there are numerous properties that you can set up on the web browser control. It may be possible to disable the scroll bars. Personally, I have not looked into it. Maybe perhaps with API, if it's not available in the properties. But I mean, this is definitely one way that you can add an animated GIF to a workbook. And again, it must be macro enabled. So when you save the file, make sure you do file save as, and either choose a XLSM file, which is an Excel macro enabled workbook, or the Excel binary workbook. These are the two commonly used file extensions that I use for workbooks that have macros in them. But keep in mind that the Excel binary workbook is only available in Microsoft Excel 2007 and later. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.